summary of Act 3, Scene 1. Ken has lost trace of the king on the heath. A gentleman informs him how Lear is in raging madness with the fool for his only royal company. Ken dressed the man and sends him as a messenger to Cordelia in France. Ken gives his ring to the gentleman to be handed over to the Queen of France. Act 3, Scene 2. Lear and the fool are out in the storm. They seem to defy the disorder in the elements with their own verbal outburst, each in his own way and the one paying no attention to the other. Ken comes upon them. The king is too deranged to notice him. Ken tries in vain to shelter him in a hut. Later, the king obliges. The fool speaks in unsettling terms regarding the present and future state of the world. Act 3, Scene 3 Glester confides to Edmund that Regan and Con Cornwall have or ordered him not to plead for Liam and that they have imposed their rules in, on his house. Glester has been informed of a pending French attack to avenge Lear's wrong. He is determined to help Lear even if he has to die for it. Edmund is sure to inform Regan and Con Cornwall against his father. Act 3 is informed. It storms outside, but the storm within Lear is somewhat spent. Ken urges, to, urges the king to enter the shelter of a hut. With royal grace and matchless courtesy, Lear makes the fool enter the place first. He realizes the sad and despicable existence of many abject miserables in this world. He has to go through his own suffering to get to know the wretched of the earth. Edgar, as poor Tom, encounters the king. His condition lays bare to Lear the truth of mortality. Glester comes upon the scene. The king is in the company of Ken, the fool, and the poor Tom. Ken tells Glester that Lear is almost mad. Glester informs him of Edgar's ingratitude. It has driven him to the brink of his senses.